Hey guys, Nick here with Night Life Kennels. I um, want to come to you with a little video about uh, just some general guidelines on how to raise and train some pups to get started in coon hunting. I uh, follow a lot of groups on Facebook and guys are always asking questions of how do I do this, that, and the other. Um, for one, there's never a cookie cutter mold of how to train a dog. Every dog and situation is different. Um, these are some general guidelines that might get you headed in the right direction. Um, one is you need to everything you do when it comes to training a dog or a pup or you know whatever age group it is of a hound you need to make sure everything you do benefits the general health of that dog uh, that can be from your physical you need to make sure you have enough money to afford vet bills shots good quality food um you know worming and everything else um then emotional health you need to make sure that you have the patience to take care of a dog and work it through its problems without beating on a dog or mistreating a dog and then give it emotional issues um and also the mental health um same thing with neglect on you know beating a dog or mistreating a dog you can make a dog become ill you can make a dog uh, dislike uh people because of that so you gotta make sure everything you do improves or at least maintains the health and the, the general health quality of that dog um, so don't ever mistreat your dog in any way um, that, that's that's one big thing for me um, I see a lot of guys not doing that and mistreating dogs in a lot of different ways and it just uh, just kind of gripes me but uh, so make sure you can you can cover all your bases with the health of the dog you can at least maintain it or improve the quality of the health of the dog secondly you need to surround yourself by some great men great houndsmen um, I've been fortunate enough, I've had several in my life. My grandfather gave me tons of great advice. He was an awesome houndsman. Everybody in the county knew him, knew what kind of dogs he had. He'd answer questions for me um, at any time I had them. He helped me out a ton. My dad is the same way. He's a beagle guy. Um, he's He's been a great example of how to take care of dogs. He's had great dogs, and so training-wise, he's really good at that. But my dad is really awesome at, at taking care of his dogs. I mean, they've got heat lamps in the winter, good bedding, great houses, super nice kennels. Um, he's really, you know, shaped me and shown, shown me how to do do that aspect. A um, friend of mine named Kim Bishop, he's a field staff of sport dog. He's been instrumental in teaching me a lot of training tips for dogs. He's had some great, awesome hound dogs in his life. Um, everybody knows him. He's a great great christian guy uh, man of his word and i've called him up at you know 11 12 o'clock at night at the base of a tree said hey my dog's doing this did i do the right thing or, or should have done this and he's always giving me solid advice and if i messed up he didn't talk down to me he just told me you know th this is what you need to do and why so he's helped me out a lot of that so if you're taking care of the general health of your dog and you're surrounding yourself by great houndsmen who can give you good solid advice um you're ahead of the game um so getting into a little bit, what I'd say is if you're young and you're getting into coon hunting, I'm saying like 12 to 18 years old, um, I wouldn't recommend you buying a pup, like an eight-week-old pup and starting from scratch. Um, I would say get you a very well-started to finish dog or maybe even go out there and get that eight, nine, or ten-year-old dog that somebody's wanting to get rid of because he's not fast in the woods no more. Um, he was a great dog, but now he's just getting slow and they've lost patience. Um, go that route. Uh, here's a few reasons why. <coughs> um, one, if you're real young, you lack a lot of patience and you lack a lot of time. Um, dogs require a lot of patience to train properly. So if you're if you're not a very patient person, um, you know your attention span is very short. You're going to um, fall short on training the dog. For one, that's going you're going to lose interest in the dog because the dog's not doing what you want. So you're not going to be happy with it. And two. You're cutting that dog off from reaching his full potential of what he could be. So it's not fair to the dog either. That goes back to taking care of the health of the dog. Um, also, if you don't have the time, um, you got girlfriends, football practice, you know, working at the grocery store at night, you know, all these things that you have to do or, you know, other hobbies that you have will take away from training the dog properly. Um, so the dog won't do what you want in the amount of time that you want. So your patience comes into factor again dogs aren't going to do what you want you're going to lose interest and you're not letting it reach its full potential because you didn't give it your 110 percent so i would recommend young people start out with an older dog that doesn't need quite as much um attention uh i would say that's probably the, a good way to go so um but far as you know when you're when you get a, get a dog um just the main thing is surround yourself with good people 
ask them questions they'll lead you in the right way um, another big thing too is be careful who you hunt with and the dogs that they have um, if you got some great houndsmen you surround yourself with generally you can hunt with their dogs um, no problem I see a lot of guys out here that they're always running three or four dogs at a time um, that's okay if you've got them four five six year old finished solid dogs that you know they're not gonna pick up any bad habits um, and you run them together because then that's a lot of fun um, if you got a young dog I'm saying six eight months up that has started say it's treed a couple coons by itself you need to single the dog out um, you need to eight times out of ten hunt that dog completely by itself one it's going to learn the ways of treeing a coon travel train trailing a coon tree and a coon by itself without learning to be a me too dog and doing it just because another dog learned um, you know yourself some of the lessons you learned in life the hard way have stuck the most well when a dog gets to go out here at night by itself without another dog helping it that's a harder way to track and trail that will stick with the dog more than anything else so you need to run it by itself as much as you can until it's finished out um, just so that way it learns better and those those lessons stick with the dog and also you got to be careful with when you run with other dogs um, if you got run with a dog that runs trash or say it doesn't go deep enough to find a coon that you like or say the dog goes way too deep than you like anything like that that you don't like in someone else's dog you have to be careful with running your dog with because he can pick up those habits um, you know I've had friends before that their dogs did certain things I didn't like or even my dog done things that they didn't like so we couldn't run our hounds together because we didn't want them to rub off on each other once the dogs got on up in age and got finished out it wasn't an issue um, but in the meantime we could still hunt together like we could go out hunting but you know my buddy would cut his dog in there we'd we'd run it for an hour or so let it tree coons or whatever and then I would cut mine you know so we were still out in the woods together having a great time just our dogs wouldn't run together so they weren't picking up each other's habits but we're still having a great time so you know as long as you you can single your dog out so that way it learns the lessons it needs to learn the way it needs to learn them and it doesn't pick up any bad habits from other dogs um that's going to get you heading in the right direction so just to recap take care of every aspect of your dog's health mental physical emotional Surround yourself by some great houndsmen that you know have great dogs that can give you solid advice when you need it because you'll have tons of questions. Um, avoid getting a real young dog if you lack patience and time to put into it to let it reach its full potential. And then once you have a dog, if it's started, um, start singling it out so they can run by itself, learn its lessons by itself, and that way it doesn't pick up uh, any bad habits from any of the trashy dogs that you may end up running it with. So just cover all your bases on those ends. And I think that will get you guys headed in the right direction on training your dogs the way you need to train them. So if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. I appreciate you guys tuning in to my channel, supporting me. Um, please, if you would, like any of the videos that you like and subscribe to my channel. And that way you will get updates on any other videos I have in the future. And please share. If you like my videos, share them to some of your friends. Tell them about them. And that way we can kind of see that you guys are liking the content we're putting out. And we'll keep putting it out. So hope you all have a good day. Hope this helped out. See you later.